Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an enormous box full of knives from Jared Neve. I have no idea what's in here. He said he forgot to send me a list or put a list in here. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox it with a new knife to the channel. That's going to be the Eric Oaks, Oaks Works solar storm edx so you guys might remember i had the osprey edx prototype and then i bought that on the pre-order watch this um you can flick it great hollow grind great grind from riot and that doesn't mean the detents light <laughs> it's great uh but you can flick it right-handed i can't do it left-handed i haven't uh, it's the lock bar i think Plus, this way, you're you're pushing it out of the detent. Left-handed, you're pushing the blade into the detent. So I think that's what it really is. But anyway, this is really cool. I love the sheep's foot blade. Yes, I'm not normally a flipper-only guy, but you just saw you can flick it. And uh, I absolutely love the ergos on this and the blade. Uh, the hollow grind, the sheep's foot, the length. It just feels like an extension of my hand. This is an excellent knife, guys. Um, there's going to be a pre-order for this knife in june sometime or may or june and then they're delivering like a month later so he already placed this order with ria a while ago and he's doing it that way that's the way to do pre-orders guys is order the pieces and then um do your pre-order like a month before so you have money for the final uh payment um and then go about it that way so anyway this is from Jared Neve, uh, and yeah, he said he forgot to put something in here telling me what everything is. So this is going to be a fun guessing game. I'm going to open this up here. His address, or my address and his address are on the other side. Let's see if I can get in here first. Now, usually he sends me a lot of his trash, but I think he forgot this time. All right, just watch this. Just watch. Jared, are you kidding me, dude? What in the God's name? He's like, man, I've been meaning to send you stuff. And he sends me freaking 9,000 knives. Uh-oh, this feels like the new pouch. So this might be the um, the Chevalier that I hate. Oh, well, this feels like it too. So maybe it's the Chevalier and the new Eric Oaks design, huh? The sandbar. But we'll we'll find out. I'm guessing here. Just feeling. I know there's a hinderer in here. Is this that Sig uh, Hogue that he was going to send me a while ago? But Casey sent me one, so I got one already. So that might be one I already reviewed. CMB, We, and Artisan. All right, so let's go down the line. You want to do that? You know what? No, I'm going to put these all over here. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm going to need another container for loaners because it's just too many. All right, let's start with this. Ah, okay, so he just put them in random pouches. Good to know. This is the Wii Subjugator, and this is basically the, um, yikes. This is basically the, um, follow-up. What is going on? To the, uh, what's the one that I had? Not the Subjugator, the, uh, not the Conspirator, the, uh, this is a, this is a completely different knife. It's heavier it's a little thicker, I think. It's got studs instead of the fuller. So, yeah, it is a different knife. I thought it was just the same knife with studs, basically. I think it started with a B. Let me take a sip of this and think. <sighs> Fuck. I can't remember the name of the knife before this. It doesn't matter because this is the knife we're talking about, and this is called the Subjugator. So, uh, I am going to take a list here. This is how I do it. Um, so I will write the name of the knife, but I'll write Neves Subjugator. And if I can't spell it, don't hold it against me. And then I'll put it in the pouch and that's how I can easily remember. Right? So we got the Subjugator. This is going to be, I guess, pretty quick because we got to do uh, 
you know, we'll do rapid reviews on them, so I don't want to take too much time up, but um, it's centered. It looks good. You got the bronze accents, black and titanium. You obviously you have a... Ow! I'm just kidding. You have a Jared Neve ev edge that's sharp as shit. Um, you have a pretty thin lock bar, you know, but it works. It's fine. Um, lock up is... I mean, it's like halfway, a little, you know, 50%, but it looks a little uh, later than usual. Flipper, flipper works. Uh, studs works. Uh, lefty reverse flick. Hey, works. Ergos, pretty good there. Um, this is okay. It's not really a choil, honestly. That sucks. I really like the other one because it had the choil. God, what was that thing called? I'm pretty sure it started with a B. And I don't know what's up with this action. So maybe ever so slightly play if I really wrench on it, but it's fine. But I can't get it to drop. It just doesn't. <laughs> but then after that, it feels really smooth. So I don't know if it's just an in-transit thing. We'll see. But anyway, that is the Wii Subjugator. So I don't know where to put all these. We got an artisan pouch. Two knives in here. Jesus. Ah, oh, yeah, I wanted to check that out. Cool. All right. Jared hooking it up. Oh, right. Okay, so I got to remember what... I got to name all these and then put... Jesus Christ. All right, so this is the uh, Neves. This is the Kaiser Yorkie Studs. And... Uh, fuck. Stativian. Is that what it is? Stativian, I think is how you say it. ST126. Nice. It has a number on it. Yeah, that feels pretty good, actually. Put that in here. All right, so let's check these out. This is a knife I wanted to try. Um, Colin, my partner on Devo Knives, CM Knife Designs, Colin, he, um, he, I think he has one of these, but he also has a custom Yorkie, and I really wanted to try that. Sorry, that was me. Uh, lock up is good uh it's a very thin liner lock but i gotta tell you kaiser man i saw that thing on reddit the other day i think it was where or no facebook where some dude had issues with his kaiser his bearings were actually indenting the steel and he had all these issues and he ended up uh doing a heat treat or sorry an hrc test sent it out or whatever and it came back at uh, 51 hrc 51 hrc for um i forget what the steel was but it was something half 14 c or something like that um that is just sad but honestly when I, when that happened my thought was jared who sent me these knives jared neves shout out to jared go check out his channel sorry i should have said that earlier dude is crushing it we just flew past 100k that's insane uh congrats dude um but I was thinking, Jared has and has handled a gajillion Kaisers and used a lot of Kaisers. And he's never really bitched about heat treat or how their edges hold up. So I think that was probably just a bad knife or a bad, you know, a bad batch or something, right? Anyway, this is the Kaiser Yorkie with studs. And they didn't give you good access on this side. They give you more on this side. So right hand thumb flick, fantastic. Left hand reverse flick, really good. The D10 is snappy. You guys know I love that, and Kaiser's been doing that lately. Lefty thumb flick works. It's a little tight, but it works. The righty reverse flick for me is a little tough. Um, I can do it, but I got to really pay attention. Otherwise, I just slip over because it's a pretty stout D10. It's not light at all. I mean, it fires. Uh, it's got that nice Kaiser pop, and it doesn't have a rattle on this one. Yeah, maybe a little, but it's good. These uh, G10 scales are beautiful. Uh, is this G10? It looks like it. This is the... I can't believe I'm going to say it. I think this is the best G10 I have ever seen or felt. It almost feels like my car... Oh, is it my carta? Is it like a red... My no. I don't know. Whatever this is, it's freaking nice, dude. I'm thinking it's G10, though. It has that kind of texture to it there could and now i'm thinking it's like cerakoted aluminum i don't know whatever it is it's really nice shit and i like it 
Um, clip looks okay. It says Yorkie Kaiser. Okay, so this one's in M390. Damn. Okay. And then you have this Stativian ST126 in D2. You saw the action earlier. Is there any play? No play. No rock. Fuck me, dude. Look at that. Reverse flick. Trying to dig in there. Detent solid. Let's try it lefty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It feels good in hand. Now, of course, it's D2 and JG10, so I hate it. But objectively, this knife for probably like 30 bucks is utterly fantastic. I mean, look at that action. Detent's on point. You can do uh, the, the flipper. You can do a reverse flick. You can probably thumb flick it. Nah, you, oh, you could thumb flick it. You got a deep carry clip. Ah, oh, burn. No lefty. Oh, no lefty love. Ouch. All right, that's the Stativian and the Yorkie. Let's keep moving. Sorry, I know there's a lot of knives. We got the Kaiser. Uh, pa -pa -pa, no, this is the Concept Pray to Tout. Concept. I don't need a list, bro. Come on. Pray to Tout. But he usually tells me like, hey, it's got a factory edge. Hey, I put an edge on it. Hey, this is brand new. Needs to break in. He gives me a list because he knows what I'm going to bitch about. <laughs> I love it. Um, this reminds me of the CKF snafu, or I should say Peter Rosenti's design. This says Timascus on it, which I don't like the collar because it just, you know, is it's all right. But this looks pretty good, actually. It's like Mokutai, Timascus, whatever you want to call it. Zerkutai could be all of those things. They're all very similar. You got standoffs. Backspacer would have been cool, but, you know, it's got these cool grooves in it. That's what kind of gives it snafu vibes along with, oh, uh, uh, along with, uh. this is why just don't even put a flipper on it. You wanted to dial it for the studs. See that? I think guns, guns out, suns out, guns out with the studs. D10 is, oh, D10 is money with the studs. Can I flick it? Oh, yeah. Even the lefty flick, because there's no, there's no D10. Oh, I, I spoke too soon. Boom. Ergo's pretty good. Fits my hand pretty well. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I think it came with this mirror edge. <laughs> Just kidding. I think Jared put an edge on here. This is, um. This is going to be uh, Damascus, and it's probably going to be 9CR Damascus. Uh, I doubt that it's... Is that Damasteel? It's got cool patterns like Damasteel does. So, hey, you never know. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say it's not. You know what I mean? What does it say? Oh, it's K-Maxron design. Pray to tout. K1, okay. Where's the steel? You gonna say Dama or something on there? No, probably not. Okay. Uh, anyway, there's a close-up look at it. Yeah, it kind of gives me Resenti vibes, but hey, you know, can't all, you know, everything looks like something, so I'm not trying to say it's a rip-off. Um, I see why Jared likes it. I do wish the uh, flipper, I wish they would have dialed it a little better for that, but hey, I know why they did it, because it's already strong for the studs. Like, I don't think it could have been much stronger. And then the fuller would have been an issue, right? But just chop that. You know what I mean? You could have given us a choil here. I mean, come on, concept. You give me a choil right here instead of a flipper, I'd be all over this. I would. Um, you need to do another version of this, or uh, we need to get one modded, because I think I would actually dig this knife. If you got rid of it, I mean, shit, you could, get, you could put a hole here. Although the studs are okay, I just don't like the position. Feels a little weird to, I don't know. It's all right. I'll get used to it. I'm learning here. Ugh. There you go. I like the curved handle. Yeah, it feels pretty good. All right, that's the Prey to Tout from Concept. If I get some of these names wrong, don't hold it against me. Ah, oh, sweet. This is one that I was going to have um, uh, White Mountain Knives send me once they got more in, but now I don't need to. Uh, Kubi, this is the Monster Dog. And yes, guys, I am literally a steel trap of dumb knife information. I can remember every fucking name of every knife I've never even handled. If I've seen it, I know the damn name. I know. Other than the freaking... Uh, Savivi. 
I keep wanting to say banter. No, it was a wee idiot. The wee. Buh, 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 buh. I'm trying to think of something that sounds like, you know, subjugator, conspirator, buh, 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 braggadocer. Uh, the, uh, the, buh, 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 buh. damn it. It's going to come to me at some point. All right. Kaiser, sorry, Kubi. What did I write down? I think I wrote Kubi. Monster dog. Um, I've heard some things about this knife. <laughs> Such a goofy ass design. A uh, CPM 20 CV. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a flat grind. Come on. Give me a hollow on. I want a hollow on everything, though. It's got pretty thick stock, though. It's got these wheel studs. I kind of like them. Uh, it's got the Kubi uh, logo there. I like that. Backspacer with the lanyard post. It's interesting. Uh, lock bar. Ooh, yeah. Lock bar is nice. Ooh, the action's pretty good. Um, I will say right off the bat, the studs are kind of. Uh, they're kind of shallow, like they're they're low down. You know what I mean? Like I want them to stick out a little more. It's hard to get under there, um, but it could just be an adjustment because I was just flicking this, you know. And even that I miss. Um, ooh, lefty reverse flick ergos. Yeah, ergos are pretty good. Get my thumb right up here. Boom. You know, it's not like a stout. Um, this is my design, the Devo Stout, where your thumb lands in there perfectly, and it's not such a drop-off that, like, it feels uncomfortable on your thumb right here. This is such a steep drop-off that when I'm like this, it's kind of uncomfortable because I get that sort of corner right into my thumb. But I guess if you... Nah, it just doesn't feel right. Honestly, it's annoyingly uncomfortable. Um, just saying. You can pick up a stout at Urban EC Supply if you want. Um, but I like the reverse flick. I knew this knife wouldn't be for me. Um, just because of the aesthetic, the size, the little chode knife. I'm not a chode knife guy. Um, I do see why they call it the monster dog. Kind of looks like a dog. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the guy who designed the cormorant designed this, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, it's a good little knife. Feels really well built. Uh, Kubi's doing a great job with that stuff. So there you go. That is the monster dog. Nice milled clip. All right, this one I've never seen. Excuse me. This is a Kubi. This is the Manganis design. I don't know. I think that's the designer. Uh, it's not the name of the knife. Um, so I don't. Oh, wait. Is this the one that's called the. Um... Ah, somebody was asking me if I've seen this one. Um Damn, I was just saying I'm a steel trap, but I literally have seen this one time, I think. I think it's called like the Stealth or something like that. It's called like the Stealth, something like that. I don't know. I'm going to put down Kubi Stealth and go with that. I'm sure it's wrong, but I'll know what I mean. Oh, all right. Manganus. There. Don't want to get that wrong. Where's the pouch? Here. But I think that's what it's called. Something similar to stealth or whatever. You can, I mean, you can see why it's all blacked out. Uh, the front flipper is pretty good. The detent, yeah, it's pretty solid. Uh, yep, yeah, works for the thumb flick, reverse flick. Yep, uh, it's just hideous. It's it's ugly as sin. So you know, not for me. Uh, ergos are okay. You can even climb all the way up to here. Feels pretty good. Um, you got a flat grind, but it's done pretty well. I'm guessing it, yeah, D2. I don't know if this is older or something, but I think it's a newer one, honestly. Um, but that's the Kubi. I'm going to go with Stealth, but I'm wrong, probably. Manganis design. Sorry, you're going to see some of these because I'm running out of room here. Uh, this is... Shit, I should have never said anything because I said something and now I, I don't know any of these. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Oh, that's why. It's a freaking Ganzo. It's a Ganzo Firebird, dude. I hate Ganzo. And I've never even handled one. You know why? Because they freaking rip people off. So I want nothing to do with them. Um, this looks like an original design to me, but I still hate them for that. Uh, this is the F3 knife made by Ganzo. FH922. Why does it say F3 knife made by Ganzo and then have a different number? <laughs> what the fuck? It's in D2, of course. It's got a good belt satin on it. I mean, I've heard they do good work. I mean, it's probably like 20 bucks. It's got a great detent. Um, you know, I can't deny that stuff. Like, 
yeah, for the money, you're getting a good knife. I mean, compare it to even like the newer Civivis. This build quality is on par, if not better, honestly. Um, I've been pretty disappointed lately with the budget offerings. But at the same time, they're ripping people off. So, like, I really don't want to do it. I don't want anything to do with them. But, hey, we'll see. Maybe I'll like this one enough to um, do a review or something. Uh, Ganzo. Ganzo Unknown Ripoff. Uh, FH922. There we go. Put that in the pouch. We got three more, guys. Hang in there. Hang in there. Get this SIG pouch. Ah, this is the one, man. This is the one I wanted to check out. So this is a Hinderer XM18 3-inch non-flipper. I don't know. Spear point or something. Drop point. I don't know. Point. It's a point. Um... So, real quick, because we have a hinderer here, I guess I have to address the elephant in the room, and it it is a uh, drop point, I guess you'd call it, might call it a spear point. Um, the elephant in the room is the transparent knives hinderer debacle, and I land on the side of transparent knives. I'm not like buddies with him or anything, I've talked to him a little bit, more than I've talked to Rick Hinderer, um, but... He basically told them that their heat treat was garbage. Like, he didn't say their knife was out of spec. He said it was in spec and your spec sucks. That's called criticism, right? Um, and what Rick is doing is starting a legal battle over it, or at least threatening one because he's trying to intimidate um, because he can't take criticism, you know? Either look into your heat treat and just be like, all right, you know, maybe I need to make an adjustment. People would be cool if you made an adjustment. They'd probably be happy. And if you don't want to make an adjustment, just say why and move on. There's no reason to, you know, and then trying to publicly make the guy, you know, suck your wang publicly by doing this video apology saying this, this, and this. Come on. Uh, anyway. I'm on the side of Transparent Knives on this one. I'm not like on his, you know, I'm not on his legal team or anything. I'm just saying I fall on that side. It's very disappointing. It really is because I've heard, you know, you've always heard of Hinderer in the community and how long they've been a part of the community. And and uh, this is not being a part of the community. This is alienating the community. So anyway, I just want to say my piece because I have a Hinderer here to review. And it almost makes me want to not review this knife. Like, I don't want to put any spotlight on them right now. Um, but you can't get it anyway, probably. And, uh, you know, so we'll see if I like it or not. I'm trying to turn that because I think it's a little loose. It's just spinning. Um, because if you look at the centering, it looks good, right? But you can see it's off on this side. It's closer than that side, but tip centered, so we're good. Um, all right, anyway, we have this cool-ass, I think, micarta scale. Um, yeah, uh, Jared was telling me that this is basically the best hinderer ever, and I agree. It is. Um, this fits my hand like an absolute glove. It's a perfect size blade. I mean, it's not big. It's a three-inch blade. I mean, here's the uh, Yorkie, which I believe is like two and a half inches. Um, what's something you guys would know? The nimble, nimble, Kubi Royal. There you go. So three inch blade. I mean, it's not big. That's for sure. Um, but it fits the hand extremely well. And the action, uh, he just got lucky because I've never handled a hinderer with great action and this is fantastic i mean the detent is there snappy but not too snappy you can see left-handed boom flicks out like a dream uh i'm not gonna lie i would own this like i would buy this knife if i could uh, now if i went and found a three inch blah 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 i bet you it would have something wrong with it uh, like a light detent or whatever everyone i've handled has had a different detent or something you know i've had screws just fall out on me um even these i don't know if they're supposed to sit a little bit proud 
Um, they just like loosen. It's weird. Um, but anyway, this is an excellent, excellent example of a Hinderer XM18 three inch. Um, this is the best one I've handled. The one from Joe, uh, Joe Blair, my buddy, uh, he had a warning or does, I think, have a warning flipper three inch. And that's fantastic as well, action wise. So maybe they're just really good at the three inch. Um, I gotta say, I love the way Hinderer finishes these titanium scales. It's my, it's probably my favorite finish on titanium. Um, it just looks different than how anybody else does titanium. Um, usually you see a bead blast, right? Um, and then like Chris Reeve, I love their finish too, but I think I like this better. And man, no shit you want to use this knife, dude. It literally is an extension of my hand. This is fantastic. So that's the Hinderer three inch. Um, did I already, I think I already filled that card out, right? Then we got a CMB pouch with a CMB knife. This is the new one that, um, I don't actually know the name of it. Um, may, I'm going to call it the Delta, but I know I'm wrong. Uh, Backpack B just got this. He was uh, talking about it because he got a budget one, so he wanted to try a more premium one. He said I wouldn't like it. Uh, he said, I think he said maybe, I, th I would think the D10 is light. Uh, this one, it's not like stout, but... Oh, that was me. It's not like stout, but it's there. Like it's a good detent. Um, I don't understand why there's no jimping anywhere. It's S 35 E and there's no jimping on the flipper. And personally, I think it does need it. Um, cause I get sweaty hands and I know I'd slip over it. Now it's not too strong, so it will work and can't do the, I'm on the lock bar. Try to get down here. Ah, there we go. Uh, so lefty, not going to be great. Maybe that's what backpack B meant. Good edge on it. Uh, I love this finish. It's like a, I don't know. It's like a matte finish on the coating. Some people might not like that. The action is, yikes. Um, good, I mean, sorry. Um, righty, thumb flick works. The reverse flick's a little tight because you have less room in there, but you can get it. Um, and then, of course, you have the flipper. Left-handed, you have that great access to the hole, but you got to be on the clip. So it makes it a little awkward to get up there. And, uh, yeah, thumb flick is a little tight. So lefty, basically have the flipper. Eh, it kind of sucks, right? You don't want to just have, there you go. It'll work if you if you really adjust, which I don't like doing. Feels like a good, decently thin edge. I mean, not great, honestly. Um, but I'm not, no expert. Looks like marbled carbon fiber inlays. I like how they did the inlays. That's unique and different. I just think it's cool. It's a little bit, um, I don't know, the knife in general, uh, in this world of knives, it, it looks unique. And I, I think I got to applaud them for that, for that. So that is the CMB, what I'm calling the Delta. I know that's wrong. One more knife. We're down to this one. Ah, okay. So this is the Kaiser, uh, Gemini. Is this the mini? I think it's a mini, uh, mini. Gemini, and this is aluminum, so it's probably in like 3B or something. Let's take a look. Uh, N six ninety, ugh, poop. Oh, dude, I handled the um, the copper infused carbon fiber one, um, and it is fantastic, guys. It truly is just oh, the detail. Kaiser, God. I want Kaiser to make a knife for me because that, because of that detent. It's so crisp and snappy, yet it doesn't hold up the drop action. It's still really good, right? And that's where people always fall apart, right? They um, they add too much lock bar tension to try to get that detent, and then it doesn't drop close because you have a lot of lock bar tension, right? But Kaiser does something. I don't know how they do it. With They do something, maybe how they drill out the detent hole, and then they remove material around the pivot on the blade so it gets nice and and uh, weighty towards the end of the blade so it wants to drop, you know, even for a tiny knife like this. Look at that. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I Guys, I got to say, I love what Kaiser's doing. Um, can I reverse flick it is the question. Oh, you got to be able to reverse flick this. All right, let's try it right-handed. Ah, I hate that freaking detent. You can get it. 
And uh, this is definitely a knife that Backpack B needs to pick up and put a whole mod in. He's doing whole mods on everything. That would be dope on this. Um, yeah, this aluminum feels fantastic. This, this is an awesome rendition of an existing knife right here, guys. This is how you do it. This is how you do it, Kaiser. Kaiser's killing it. Ray Laconico. Like it even says Ray. That's pretty cool. N690. That part sucks. Gemini Mini. There you go. Uh, it says a full flat grind. So it feels pretty good. It's not. Yeah, yeah it feels pretty thin. I like it. Um, liner lock. Nice and thin liner lock, too. I think that helps them, too. Because they can get that pressure on the detent. But it's not a super heavy uh, liner. So it's not going to put too much pressure on the blade when it's closing um the the stop pin is very tiny on this i think uh, at least in my opinion that's pretty tiny but it's a pretty tiny blade uh there's no play no rock i mean dude really cool all right so those are all the knives jared sent it's a whole pile of freaking knives dude um let's talk about my favorites right um hands down my favorite is this one right here the hinderer xm18 uh three inch with the non-flipper spear point. The only thing I wish it had was a little more lock bar access. It feels a little bit odd getting in there, but I would get used to it pretty quick. Love that one. Uh, and then the Kaiser Yorkie just feels really, again, it's this, it's them just killing detents and killing action. I mean, it's incredible how they do this. Tiny little knives are dropping shut. Knives with blades that weigh nothing are just gliding shut. It's so cool. Definitely love those three. Um, after that, it's kind of a crapshoot. Don't love it. This one's pretty cool, but not for me. Uh, this one's got good action, but it's, you know, Ganzo, and it's really thick and whatnot. This is just a cool-ass design, but it's right-hand bias. This is just ugly. Uh, this is cool, but I don't know what's going on with this thing. Uh, and I'm buying time to try to think of the goddamn name of that subjugator and the um, the subjugator and the damn it can't remember it it's really gonna bug me and you guys are gonna drop it in the comments a million times and I'm gonna be like damn it um, the we the we. Maybe it doesn't start with a B, and I'm tricking myself. I don't know why this doesn't drop at all. It's sort of odd that it doesn't, like, just drop. It's weird. But then after that, it's very smooth. Uh, the Wii, I don't know. All right, I give up. Uh, the Stativian is going to be your uh, price point winner here. If you're looking for a budget offering uh, with great action and everything, pick up this Stativian. I mean, it's freaking killer dude for the action the detent you can flick it you can do all that stuff you can dye it whatever color you want really cool uh this one's just a little too out there for me but uh, i get it if you like the design go for it i don't like the ergos up in that divot um the Wii has a fuller you know what i mean it has a fuller it's a little bit thinner than this same design uh, no studs, has the flipper tab, the detent kind of broke in, it's a little, it's a little bit thinner, it reminded me of a, um, Ferrum Forge knife, <sighs> man, I want to call it the Bender, the, um, uh, <laughs> it's gonna bug the shit out of me, the Bender, the Wee Bender, um, the Barracuda, the Wee, uh, all right i'm done i love you guys thank you for checking this out big shout out to jared neve thank you jared for sending this in this is a big ass box of knives we got three five and we got what ten knives on the table damn son thank you i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i'm gonna keep trying to think of this damn name the wee ba 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 peace